Greg Phillips. Hi guys, thanks for meeting and with me. And I'm Chad Chat. What's your pitch, kid? Come on, time is money, money is power, power is pizza, pizza is knowledge. Let's go. Okay. We made like 100 million doctor's appointments for ourselves in one week. After this, we won't have to go to the doctor for like 10 years. Because we're smart. Let's do an exercise. April, what makes Pawnee the best city in the world? Easy. Most murders per capita. The guillotine was invented here. City Hall is run by the Walrus Mafia. Oh, God, what if they don't speak English? April, you know Spanish, right? Tu te entieras en tu trabajo porque tu eres infeliz en tu vida personal. Oh, good. Excellent. Hello, is this Mrs. Hello. Gallivan? Well, my name is April, and wouldn't you know it, I'm raising money for a city council candidate I believe in. No, mira, 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 mira. It's like whatever you want. Like $10, it don't matter. Well, I reckon it's just like Grammy Murtha told me and my cousins. You can't eat the biscuits if you don't pay for the flour. <laughs> okay, so this is a multimedia project. First, a bunch of rats made out of garbage. And um, this is a TV screen. It'll be like a big flat screen TV and it'll play looped video of knee surgeries. And then this is a human sized hamster wheel that will be next to the mural if we can get one. And it'll be spinning and there'll be like a fat guy in it all the time, like screaming and like eating raw beef and like bleeding and like blood will like come out of his mouth and stuff. And um, that'll be like right next to the mural. I have one question. Why? If you have to ask, you don't get it. Oh, man, it costs $200 to get certified. I wanted to make fun of stupid people while I get drunk. My two true passions. You want to futz with these fools? I will bankroll you. Really? Oh, hell yeah, pimp. Sounds like fun. Thank you. April Ludgate, professional drinker. Uh, where did you study, Ms. Ludgate? The Wine Academy. The Wine Academy? In Bordeaux? Yes. Carol. Make sure she's in group A. I'm going to tell you a secret about everyone else's job. OK. No one knows what they're doing. I don't know how to run an animal control department. Half the documents I get, I put right into the shredder because they're so boring. But you seem like you do know what you're doing. Yeah, I seem like it. Deep down, everyone is just faking it until they figure it out. And you will, too, because you are awesome and everyone else sucks. The new site looks good. Nice work. Oh my god, these dogs are so cute. I want to throw up and kill myself. Animal Control had to take in all the pets from Eagleton, and Crazy Craig used to run all their shelters, so he helped me make an adoption website for all their dogs. If you can look at that site and not want to take home 50 dogs, you're basically a war criminal. Entonces, what is he saying? They are very happy. They say Hugo Chavez will love this video because it is another success for their committee. Committee? Yeah. Their committee to humiliate and shame America. I'm getting notes of uh, dried robin's blood, old dirty cashews, and just a hint of a robot's bathwater. Think of yourselves as engineers steering a locomotive of positivity that runs on team power. First of all, you don't steer a locomotive. The tracks do. Second, there are only three ways to motivate people. Money, fear, and hunger. Oh, I disagree. What about encouragement, appreciation, and smiles? When people feel supported, they will literally explode with productivity. Can you guys just figure out which way is better and tell me so we can leave? Thank you for your input, April. But the Katumps requires that we follow a very specific syllabus. You're not being very inclusive, Chris. I feel like my input isn't being appreciated. You've killed my spirit. My spirit blood is on your hands. My god, I've taught you so much already. Ron, I propose a challenge to see whose motivational methods are more effective. Challenge accepted. I have to tell you a secret. But if you tell anyone, I will kill you slowly with a giant syringe. Good morning, April. What's your secret? I'm thinking about applying to veterinary school in Bloomington. <gasps> oh my god, April, that's great. Whoa, where'd you get that? The internet. So I really need a letter of recommendation, and since you work in a hospital as a janitor... Nurse. I was wondering if maybe you would write one for me? Really? I want to be your assistant. Really? You hate it here. So do you. I'll make sure you don't have to go to any meetings. If anyone comes to see you, I'll scare them away.
Wait, April, if you had to choose between these two ties... You're hired. I just figured I might as well get paid for being here. Hey, April, I was looking to get some new music and I was wondering if you could recommend anything. The internet. I really like your haircut. Where'd, where'd you get it? Prison. How's your sister doing? She has the shingles. Who's your favorite character on Sex and the City? Alf. Okay, I've been working on this for three hours and I know your spirit dog. You are a Nova Scotia toller because you're outgoing and adventurous and you love Canada. No, that's not right. No, it isn't. But I appreciate the effort. We're good. Don't beat yourself up. You'll probably never guess what kind of dog I am. You're right, I'll never guess what kind of dog you are. Because you're not a dog. You're a cat. You're temperamental. You're unpredictable, complex, and hard to read. You make people work before you let them in. But if they put the time in and prove that they care, then you open yourself up to them. Right? No, 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 no. Hmm. Eight years ago, I accepted a random internship at the Parks Department, and then Leslie told me to do a bunch of stuff, and now I'm executive director of regional whatever. I don't even know what it means, and I never even asked myself if I even really like it. I mean, it's like, what is my purpose in life? What do I even care about? My insides are dying. Okay, final tally. Jerry filed 268 red files. Yes. And 384 blue files. Yes. Wait a minute, how is that possible? Well, he was so happy when you told him he was doing a great job that he spent 20 minutes on the phone telling Gail about it. And the prosecution rests. Not so fast. He may have filed more blue ones, but they're almost all filed wrong. Not surprising, since it was a mess after you talked to him. Another fascinating edition of Katumps. We may never know conclusively which way works better, but I do know this. When we first started the seminar, I hoped to be able to engage you in the process. And by that measure, I succeeded. And I predicted that I would learn nothing from this process. Mission accomplished. What did April write? Where is April? I will pit Ron and Chris against each other. They'll argue, argue about, about dumb, dumb stuff that doesn't, doesn't matter, matter, and I will bail. Then I'll steal $20 from Chris's wallet and buy pizza with Andy. Oh, and I'll also steal Ron's watch just for fun. I think April will be a fine manager. I agree. It's my favorite kind of battle. Two men enter, one me leaves. <laughs>